Hello everyone, my name is Jazaz Patel and you are watching Jazaz Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 6 of e-learning website development in PHP with PDU. So guys, in last tutorial we successfully created this uh, left side section. So in this tutorial we are going to create a database and table and database connection. So before we start, if you doesn't subscribe my YouTube channel till now, so you need to subscribe my YouTube channel just because when I upload the new videos then you can get a direct notification into your inbox and you are learning something new from in from my channel so you need to subscribe my youtube channel so guys now let's start so first of all come back here and open the local host and here select the php my admin to create a database okay so here I'm going to create a new database just look at here create database okay so give it a name like uh, youtube underscore e learning you can give, give it any proper name as you want it just because I want uh, to know youtube e-learning just because already I have e-learning database from here just look at here so I said youtube e-learning okay so my database is coming here now my database is created just look at here so when i click on this one so here now i'm going to create a one table like cat and give the row equal to <laughs> three row for now name yeah only two row we needed from here go button okay cat id cat name okay int and this is text okay 10 50 auto increment and this will be the primary key okay save this one so now again create one another uh, table with the subcat give the name like uh, <laughs> yeah Three row we needed from here. First of all, subcat ID, subcat name, and category ID. This is the foreign key from the cat table. Okay, so subcategory ID is the primary key and auto increment. And save this button from here. So now we have a two tables. So now let's jump to the code okay from here we are going to press ctrl plus n for the new file and we select the php file okay remove this all from here create a one php tag from here and now let's create a database connection so i am going to create a one variable you can define the variable in php with the dollar sign okay so dollar con and new PDO just because we use a PDO here okay so now three double brackets with the separate uh, comma sign okay so first one is uh, is the um, my SQL equal to local host and db name equal to mm, db name equal to yeah youtube e e learning okay the second one is for the username root and the last one is the password so we doesn't need that password from right now so we need to give it blank when we upload the online server that time we use the password from there okay and also change the username from there okay so give the name like db.php okay now save this file from here yeah we, we, we make some mistake from here so semicolon host equal to localhost this is the matter we use 
to connect our database and host equal to local host just because we are on the local host okay for that reason here we use the local host db name youtube e-learning which means database name so our database name is youtube e-learning from here just look at here uh, this one is the root which means the pa uh, username and the last one is the blank just for the password when we upload the online server that time here we use the password for but now it doesn't need to use here password okay so our database connection is ready so guys in let's also create a one page from here select the php remove this all from here and set the body right section from oh not like that view id equal to body right control plus and save and we save with the body right section body right dot php okay also we need to add that body right from here paste it from here change the name with the body left to body right okay now let's uh, design this body right section so simply just copy body left css and paste it from here change the id with the body right and here we need the 80 percent width okay also float left and background will be let's see what happened here refresh so just look at this now now our background is set now but we need here only white background refresh that one so just look at this now now the white background is coming which means our body right is working very well so now let's uh, do something from here here we need to create a one h2 tag and say over view okay let's see just look at this now i think we need to use a h3 tag here okay h3 tag and now we are going to css that one inside our css file so simply what we are going to do copy the h3 tag from the body left side paste it from here change the name with the body right refresh that one so just look at this now now we have an overview section from here you can see that okay so now i think guys this is enough for today in next tutorial we are jump with the we will design a category section from here just like uh, you can see that here total categories are shown here First of all, we are going to create a, a category section. Then after we will create this one. So guys, we are working on that in next tutorial. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. See you in next tutorial. If you guys are like my videos, then like and share my videos. And if you have any question in your mind, then comment below. And guys, don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel just because it is very important for you. When I upload the new videos, then you can get the direct notification into your inbox. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Stay connected with me. Stay tuned. See you in next tutorial. Goodbye.